Hello and welcome to One Cool Thing, PC Mag's daily show where we show you one cool thing which we are checking out here at PC Mag. Uh, this week we are at CE Week, a trade show here in New York City where we are looking at a lot of cool things and I think technically what I have here is the hottest product at CE Week. Yes, this is the hottest thing around. It is the eye temp and it is a temperature sensor to tell you when other things are hot. I have Danielle here from iTemp to explain uh, what this little thing is and and what it does. Now, um, what is it and what does it do? Sure. So iTemp is a small fire prevention device. The reason why we started it is to solve the problem of the number one reason why house fires start, which is due to unattended home cooking equipment. So we're all so busy. It's easy to forget with distraction nowadays with forgetting if you leave something on the stove or the burner or a candle, a waffle maker, or even a hair iron. So we're all running around and I wanted to create a solution to that problem. So iTemp is a small Wi-Fi active device that you attaches to a mobile application so you can receive alerts anywhere you are in the world. You can also set up emergency contacts. The main alerts it does is it can let you know if something's turned on or off. Mm -hmm. It also alerts you if something's considered unattended. So if it's in use for too long and it, and it notices that, then you'll receive a mobile application alert to let you know that. And my favorite alert is the geolocation. So if you leave your house and let's say this is monitoring your oven, it will send you an alert and say, hey, don't leave yet. Your oven's still in use. So you don't have to worry about coming back and turning around and checking it after you leave your residence. So in terms of something being on or off, you basically mean, is it hot or not? Basically, there's a temperature sensor in there and that's what's uh, noticing whether things are on or off. Another alert that I didn't mention is a drastic temperature increase alert. So if it notices dangerous temperatures are reached, you'll receive an alert for that. So when fires happen, there's usually a large amount of time before it gets to that point where it hits a smoke alarm, because smoke alarms happen as a reactive state where it's already too late. There's already smoke, something's already happening. And the smoke has to rise. The smoke has to rise, exactly. So this is preventative to that in the fashion where it's before there's a problem. So we're reminding you, we're letting you know when we're noticing temperatures are too hot and, and giving you a heads up before it gets to the point of a smoke alarm. So what is it considered to be a temperature that's too hot? Like, let's say I live in Arizona. Is it always too hot? Well, it's based off of, our algorithm works based off of deviation and heat. So if that's your regular temperature, it's not gonna, it, that's, it's just gonna be considered that's your temperature. So it's meant to be used indoors. So um, let's say you live at a temperature of 70 degrees on average, you know, um, it's gonna notice deviations in temperature, but we have an algorithm that scales over a six minute period. So it would need to meet certain temperature criteria in order to be considered on or off. So if it's a stagnant ambient temperature, unlike temperature sensors that are used for the room, this notice is based off of scaling slides of deltas in temperature. Now, does this connect to other larger smart home ecosystems? Not at this time, but we are rolling out advanced features in the future to be able to do that. What are, what are you looking at? Are you looking at Alexa, Google Home, HomeKit, those sorts of things? Exactly right, yeah. Okay. Um, now, is this is this the final model of the device? Because you guys are a startup. Uh, this uh, just is, this just went on the market for pre-order yesterday, right? right? No, it's actually order yesterday. Order. We've been okay. on pre-order. Yeah. Okay, so okay. now we're fully in manufacturing and distribution. So we are direct to consumer, um, and it is the final model. Yes. Okay. And uh, now, what's the battery life like? I noticed there's a there's what appears to be a charger here. That's correct. Yes, it's rechargeable. It could last up to six months. So um, depending on how often the Wi-Fi is used and how much you receive alerts, mm -hmm. it's up to six months. So on average, twice a year you would charge it. Okay. Uh, why don't you show me how it works? You said you have sure. the uh, smartphone app there. That's right. Yeah. So we have the app, which is available for iOS and uh, Google Play for Android as well. So you just attach the mm -hmm. um, device adhesively. Does it come with something sticky or do it you need to use It comes with five tape? extra stickies. Yes, okay. it comes with the one. And like you just saw, we can remove it and put it back on. It's mm -hmm. usually uh, reusage re is possible. So the way the app works, it's very simple. You only have to set up set it up one time and that's just your home Wi-Fi network. Mm -hmm. So it connects to your home Wi-Fi. And then after that's done, you can select what you're monitoring. So in this case, we have a small electrical heater for purposes of size. And uh, I'll show you how, exactly how that works. So. Um, we're going to select the appliance. Okay. So electrical heater small, right? Okay. 
and then you have the option, I don't know if you noticed when you're holding it, but the LED did blink a few times. Yeah, so the you have, blue light was blinking. Right, so yeah. if that was a bothersome to you, you have a choice to shut that off. Good. Um, and then if it's on a candle, you could picture in a movie or something <laughs> like that, and it's dark, you may not want that as a distraction. So you can send an alert when the appliance is turned on or off, which is what we're going to do in this case. Mm -hmm. And then it just gives you a note that that may drain the battery more quickly if you're getting constant alerts. And then set an alert if you leave your property and this is considered in use. So then we uh, set your location. Today we are at CE Week at the Javits Center. So this is where we are. We're going to select that and we're going to press OK. It tells you where to place it. You already put it in the right spot. Mm -hmm. uh, we say OK. It tells you not to put it on the burners and things like that. We turn it on. Warming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, I feel some air coming out here. Yep. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And we should receive an alert. And now, how many of these can you have in the house operated by one app? That is the alert. Um, so it just tells you that the electrical heater has been turned on. Mm -hmm. Um, so you can have as many as you want. It's unlimited. So um, one of the things I didn't tell you in detail is that if you don't answer, the you could choose to um, select emergency contacts, which are also unlimited, mm -hmm. and they don't need the mobile app for that. So then it goes to a text notification to whoever's phone you designate if you, if you don't respond after three times. Now, can more than one person be logged into the app? Let's say, because you know most households have at least two people who are turning burners on and off. Right, yeah, you could have unlimited users. You could use the same login or the same device you can log into. Oh. Okay. Others, yep. Okay. Uh, now, how much does this cost? We retail, uh, our full retail price is $29 for one unit. Okay. Yeah. Is there a deal if you want to buy like a five pack? Exactly, yeah. So our most popular pack so far has been our four pack, which is four for $99. Now, have you talked to any uh, fire departments or fire prevention organizations or any of the kind of first responder authorities about, uh, I don't know, giving this some sort of official seal of approval? Right, yeah, so we actually do have um, a few firemen that were fire marshals and inspectors that are involved in as advisors in the development of this and testing, and we're constantly speaking with our local communities to try to get them involved in the process and just bringing the awareness. And they really love the idea because a lot of their calls, they, they receive, oh, Fire departments in the U.S. receive calls every 24 seconds for fires. Mm -hmm. So this can help eliminate a lot of that because a lot of them aren't actual fires, but the smoke alarm will go off, and it's to the point where they get there just in time. So this essentially will help eliminate all of that, you know, to a certain extent. And I definitely have the experience, I think a lot of people have the experience of accidentally just leaving the burner on because you were boiling some water or something, and then you get a phone call, and then you think you turned the burner off, and you didn't. Right, exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's such a common problem. So if you haven't experienced it yourself, I'm sure you could think of somebody that has, or have at least experienced the thought of, did I leave that on, or did I not? leave that on so this also provides peace and tranquility and confirmation and providing confidence that yes I did turn that off or you know or I did leave that on so now, I'm just curious where would I put this on a gas stove on a gas stove or for any cooktop we advise for it to be six inches above if there is a wall behind it so that because the heat rises again oh, so that it, okay. it picks that's like an ambient temperature so it's like one for all the burners I don't need to put one like next to each burner no no it's above oh, so okay. when you go through the app like how we just did on the electrical heater, it mm -hmm. tells you the placement that's advised on whatever appliance you select. And we also have the option for a custom setting, so if it's something that's not on there, then you can just put in like the time, the temperature, if you just wanted it for whatever reason you want it for to monitor temperature and time on like your soldering unit or something that we're not <laughs> advising to use it on um, mm -hmm. on the app. So. <laughs> Now, how hot can it get before, before the device is endangered? So we set off, um, the device can get up to 250 degrees um, Fahrenheit without being an issue, but we set in a more conservative alert that's at 125 degrees Fahrenheit that says um, to remove the device or to shut down the appliance that it's too hot. And that's not our dangerous temperature alert that I was telling you about. That's based off of if there's spikes in temperature and things like this. Mm -hmm. This is just the max temperature that we want to expose the electronics to and the battery. And that's that's the way we, just like you have your cell phone and you're out in the sun and it tells you to take it out of the sun and cool it down. It's the same thing with this. It mm -hmm. can withstand higher temperatures than the cell phone can but we also want to just be as safe as possible and make sure it doesn't get past that 125 degrees threshold. I actually think going back to the whole Arizona thing, uh, because uh, I, I, I have some family in Arizona, okay. I kind of feel like uh, you could put one of these out on the patio in the summer just to tell you, don't go out here with bare feet. Yeah. You know, <laughs> the ground awesome. is too hot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I mean, you could get creative with it, which is great. So, 
yeah, there's a lot of different uses for it, and it, it, it could be used for a variety of things. And one thing we didn't speak about is we're discussing all heat-related things, but since that dangerous temperature alert is on there, you could even put this on things like a refrigerator, because refrigerators are always running, so there's always power, and there's a lot of issues with refrigerators overheating, and that's why the Greenfield fire happened with 79 people died in London last June, mm -hmm. had to do with a hot-point refrigerator that there was an issue and it overheated. But you could even put it on things like that, which you wouldn't naturally think to do because it would notice that spike in temperature before the point that it would be engorged in flames because there's a whole t there's a whole lead up time before it gets to that, that mm. point. So it could also notice things like dryers, which shut themselves off, which is another leading cause of fires. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. So uh, this is the iTemp. It is now on sale. It is $29, but uh, you can save some money by getting a four pack. Uh, it checks to see whether uh, the temperature on anything in your house is spiking, so it's potentially dangerous. Uh, this is absolutely for people who always wonder if they left the stove on. You'll never wonder if you left the stove on again. Uh, it uh, works with uh, iOS or Android apps. Uh, does not sync up with uh, does not sync up with other smart home systems yet, but it sounds like soon you're working on it. Uh, from a small startup. Uh, thank you all for watching. This has been uh, one cool thing with PC Mag. Stay tuned to PC Mag's YouTube page uh, to see more cool things from us.